take a look at the numbers for this fight, Taylor. Take, you know, we talked about the focus of Benavidez. Well, you know, uh, he sometimes struggled to make 168, losing a title that way, as Marl mentioned. But tonight, he's a pound and a half under the limit. And, you know, at age 33, Lemieux has been through a lot of ring wars. The question is, is that too many for him to overcome in age, height, and reach disadvantage? He hopes his power will carry him through tonight. Rules for the main event, no three knockdown rule only. The referee can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. The fight is official after round four. Here once again, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Gila River Arena here in Glendale, Arizona, as Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Samson Boxing, TGB Promotions, and Showtime, sponsored by DraftKings and Geico. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC, the President Mauricio Suleiman, the Supervisor Travis Ford, along with the Arizona Boxing and MMA Commission. The Executive Director is Danny A. Vela, with the Chairman Scott Fletcher. Our three judges scoring from ringside, from Texas, Javier Alvarez, from Nevada, Tim Cheatham, and from Arizona, Chris Flores. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions. Harvey Doc. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the interim WBC Super Middleweight World Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world live from Glendale, Arizona, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold lettering and hailing from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He weighed in at 166 and one quarter pounds, with a record of 43 wins and four losses, he has 36 big wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the WBC number two super middleweight world contender. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former IBF middleweight champion of the world, introducing David. And his opponent across the ring on my right, ready to fight out of the blue corner, wearing red and green trunks, proudly representing his hometown of Phoenix, Arizona. He weighed in at 166 and one half pounds with a sensational record of 25 wins, no losses. He has 22 big wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the WBC number one contender. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the young star of the division and the former two-time WBC super middleweight champion of the world, introducing boxing's pride of Phoenix, the undefeated El Bandera Roja. Instructions, Harvey Doc. Okay, boxers, you received your instructions earlier. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. Referee Harvey Doc, 18 year pro experience, working his 270th pro fight. David Benavidez is going to try to rally the valley after Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks upset the top overall seed Phoenix Suns in the NBA playoffs. Lemieux says he doesn't run away from anybody when he steps in the ring. He's the man to worry about. The bell, round one, scheduled for 12 at 168 pounds. This one has all the makings of a fistic firefight. And Lemieux said, I'm going to try and cut the distance from the moment the fight starts. Go cautiously. That's exactly what he's doing, trying to jab his way in. Yeah, so far he didn't waste any time. He Close the distance pretty quick. 
He's got to do it a la Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. Fast with his footwork, fast little jabs, a lot of movement, head movement, a lot of feints, yes. and attack from the side. Don't square up on a guy like Benavides. That's Benavides. Oh, wow. There's a left hook already. As nine first round KOs, last one versus Felipe Romero, November of 2015 for the Mew. He has 12 first round knockouts. Last one came against Gary O'Sullivan in September 2018. And there, Benavides goes to the body with the right hand. Benavides keeping it long. It's important. He said the key for him in the early rounds is the jab. He's got to throw the jab and just go from there. And Lemieux delivering on what he promised. He is standing in front of Benavides wanting to bring the fight to the man with well, all the physical advantages in terms of height and reach. And, you know, we mentioned the, the NBA and, of course, the, the yeah. top seed, the Phoenix Suns going down in flames. But in many ways, David Benavides is kind of a huge NBA player. It, big, but can fight like a smaller guy. Yeah, it's a, the skills of a smaller man, all his combination punching. And uh, part of that is also his accuracy. He lands 38% of all his punches, and he lands 46% of the power punches he throws. Those are both way high at the top of the list of all boxers. Lemieux going oh, yeah. forward, the left hook as Benavides was throwing the right hand. I don't know what's going to happen the rest of this fight, but I... David Lemieux has come out the right way in this fight. Yes. He's fighting well early in and this fight. And he's going to the body. And he needs to keep that constant pressure. He don't need to work himself inside and jump back out. He's got to yeah. keep it in, his, in the inside, stay in Benavides' chest, push him back, rough him up, oh. make it work. Right hand by Benavides, backed up Lemieux. There's a jab through the guard. The right hand by Benavides, and the left to the body by the undefeated Benavides. Lands that right. And another right that lands for Benavides on Lemieux. 30 seconds left in the first. David Lemieux said, or excuse me, Benavides said, I want to use that jab a lot tonight. He's starting out to do it. One, two from Benavides lands. Nice solid shot by Benavides. Everything else the jab. The variety, the placement, yes. the speed. I mean, take, he really can do it all. Yeah, oh. taking his time. And oh. left on. That is staggered Lemieux. Benavides unloading with blistering time. They stopped the fight or the bell No, the bell it. went. <laughs> it, it looked to me like the referee jumped in. You gotta do something or else I'm gonna stop the fight. T'as bien commencé le round, c'est juste que arrêter de te déplacer, tu peux pas rester au bout du point comme ça. Ok, c'est soit qu'on attaque, soit qu'on est complètement à l'extérieur. Tu peux pas rester au bout de ton reach. Ok, c'est juste le dernier qu'on a fait. Ok, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ok, let's play comme il faut. You try everything. You have three minutes. You, you have to try something. Virginia Sali handling the French translation. Round number two. Lemieux was in deep trouble at the end of round one and starts the second looking to make what could be his last stand as he had his head popped back by the jab. And yet he's willing yeah. to stay in the pocket and go toe to toe with Benavides. I'm going to give you a short leash. Show me something. Referee going to give him a short leash is the words of Harvey Dock. Lemieux down for the fifth time in his career here in the second and still throwing fire. The indomitable spirit of Lemieux on display. The only safe place for Lemieux is right on the inside. And the counter right from Benavides. Yeah, solid shots, uppercuts, hooks, everything by Benavides. But look at Lemieux's heart. Wow. He's still... Trying. Lemieux fighting back, going to the body. Almost down in round one, went down here in round two, and yet he's still coming forward. And Benavides, the landing shots. There's a left to the body, right hand, and the right cross. Unbelievable chin, unbelievable will, but how much more can David Lemieux take? And Benavides showing great defense, blocking all responsible even while attacking. Oh, oh man, John 
Jack left hook. Lemieux getting lit up and yet still throwing punches. Lands a left of his own. And that left hook backing up Lemieux. And the left uppercut lands. Jab by Benavides. Every punch on the men, on the menu on display from Benavides. I think if, he, if Lemieux makes it out of this round, I don't think they let him go out in the corner. I think they stopped the fight. That's too much punishment. A oh, man who's always intent on going out on his shield. Two of his four losses have been by knockout. He just got rocked with the left uppercut on the inside. Again, on wobbly legs, taking all kinds of punishment. Still fighting back, though. It's amazing. I mean, I, 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 he's out on his feet now. I think he's out on his feet. Man, it's a battle of Davids, but Lemieux sporting a Goliath-sized heart here as he is taking all kinds of punishment from the undefeated David Benavidez. Lemieux, bloodied and battered, and makes it to the end of the second. Are they going to let him out for round three? And there is Benavidez's wife, Karina, his son, Anthony, who's a year eight months old. They're enjoying what they're seeing thus far. We're getting serious trouble again. I'm going to stop it. Well, this is from round one. We never got to see this. This is, the, again, this is the left hook that knocked uh, that sent him wobbling back, and this is you could know, have been a knockdown again. Right could have been ropes. called a knockdown. Then Benavides got in there. He threw this a flurry. Let's go, let's go. And then we're going to look at not round two when we had the the knockdown. The straight right hand gets in for Benavides, and uh, he would send him down with that left. Man. David Benavides throws punches and bludgeoning bunches, and David Lemieux what? What? comes Come out for round number three. That's staggering in and of itself. And, and comes up firing yes. repeated jabs and goes to the <laughs> right and left. Great defense by Benavides, however. See Benavides just walking them down, blocking some shots. There's a right hand that lands for Benavidez. Show stats and the power punches all in favor of Benavidez. But Lemieux trying to valiantly fight back. It's stuck with the jab. The guard is split by Benavidez, who is landing in a high clip. Yeah, he normally lands 46%. He's landing 52% of his power punches. And 47% of his total punches. Look at Lemieux banging away. Now, a lot of those punches not getting in, but even one of the body shots got in. It's staggering that he's still got an offense going. Lemieux was knocked out by Marco Antonio Rubio in the seventh round in April 2011 by Gennady Golovkin in the eighth, October 2015. Benavidez trying to close the show here in Glendale. And yet Lemieux, oh, oh they're coming back with that one shot and hit. Not going down, Raul. Oh, they're stopping the fight, guys. And Lemieux's corner has mercifully stopped the punishment. And David Benavides is now 26 and 0 with 23 KOs. And his wife, Karina, young son, Anthony, at ringside. He was the favorite. Too big, too strong, too good. There's Michael Carbajal. He's been in some wars <laughs> here in uh, Phoenix and, and elsewhere. The and he understands de piedra. it. Yeah. Manitas really? de piedra, hands, little hands of stone. And that's what we saw in Benavides today. Oh. Big hands of stone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
remarkable couple of rounds in so many ways. For this man, David Lee, remarkable because he was fighting pretty well at the beginning, and then after he got hurt, showing the heart and the wherewithal to continue fighting even after he'd been hurt badly. But a gratifying win for David Benavides, and he showed a lot of skills in addition to power. Yeah, he yes he did, David. I mean, I mean, Al, sorry. Uh, he took his time. He was very focused. He said what he's gonna do. He said what he was gonna do. Everything was gonna be off the jab. He, his defense was great. Even when he when he backed up, you know, he throws that. 20 punch combination sometimes he used to back up with his hands down though he had him up he was catching all of Lemieux's overhand lefts and right hands and incredible work by Benavides. Only three 168 pounders have won a title three times Marcus Beyer, Carl Frotch, Mikkel Kessler, Benavides well on his way to hopefully getting another opportunity again Canelo Alvarez undisputed 168 pound champion Benavides has called everybody out they're not exactly lining up to fight this undefeated phenom David Lemieux took the test and he gave it all he had before he was stopped you can't by say his you can't say enough about in my opinion of, of David Lemieux's heart and his willingness to try and win this fight. Amen. But tremendous performance by Benavides. We'll, we'll go back and revisit the action, and action is the operative word because we'll go back to round one to begin with. It was a pretty competitive and interesting round one for a good portion of the round. And then things changed with this left hook. The, the fascinating thing about Benavides is every single offensive punch works for him. He's not known as a left hook artist, but he's got a, gr a really good left hook, and that's what hurt him. And then he was trying to get the referee to stop the fight here with a typical flurry and combination by Benavides. And I think the referee was pretty close to stopping yeah. the fight because, you know, Benavides hurts you with one shot, and then he jumps on you with a 10-punch combination. Then he wings at you with another hard shot. Then he throws another fast 10-punch combination and sometimes that provokes the referee stop the fight but he got saved by the bell right there Lemieux and then you move into round two and again the left hook is a key weapon but what would happen here is a straight right hand again demonstrating the variety of what Benavides does and then Man. of course why not knock you down with the jab right and that's what he did so it, the 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 the, the a diverse attack of Benavides is one of the things that makes him special. And Raul, this is where it would end in round three. Yeah, Benavides all through the short fight, you know, he gave Lemieux different looks, varied his combinations. There you see Lemieux still trying, but opening up wide. And Benavides a lot crisper and shorter with his shots down the middle. Real short, sharp uppercuts. And, uh, you know, the that's when the corner stopped the fight. And it was because of the way Lemieux reacted to that. He was stumbling. That, yeah, he yeah, was stumbling that right hand the at that, that one right there. Yeah, and, that, and right, that one both. Yeah, and the corner did not want to see him get hurt. Uh, I'll yeah. tell you what, Lemieux is tough. If the corner does not stop the fight, he's not saying no. He's going to keep gonna, going. And you know what? They, and they did the it at the right time. He's, uh, he's a new father. His, yes. His, uh, his fiance, no need. Canadian Olympic medalist Jennifer Abel, just gave board, yes. birth to their son, Xander, two weeks ago. And speaking of a new, well, relatively new father, uh, yeah. David Benavidez with his wife, Karina, and their son, Anthony, may not know exactly what's going on. He's a year, eight months <laughs> old, but he knows it's a party for the Benavides family. David Benavides continues to show why he is one of the best in the entire sport. He is 25. He's 26 and 0 with 23 KOs. Gets it done once again in his native Arizona. Let's make it official with Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 31 seconds in round number 3. A referee in charge, Harvey Dock, stops the contest upon request of the corner. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. He is now the interim WBC super middleweight champion, boxing's pride of Phoenix, El Bandera Roja.
Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, Morrow, thank you very much. Just want to pass on a note before we start this interview. The referee, Harvey Dock, told me he was going to stop the fight right at the end of the first round when the bell rang. And because the bell rang, he decided to let Lemieux go back to the corner and continue. Now we continue with you. Congratulations. That was an awesome performance. Um, I just want to thank everybody that came. Muchas gracias a toda mi gente, toda mi raza que está aquí de Phoenix, Arizona. Los quiero mucho. Ya, ya tienes un campeón tres veces aquí. Muchas gracias. Can you translate that for us? I just wanted to thank all my people, man. Um, all my, all my, um, my race right here from Phoenix, Arizona, man. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Look at all these people that came out. It's, it's, it's a road to me. It's a dream, man. Everybody came out to see me, and I, I'll give my heart in the ring for you guys every day. David, David Lemieux wanted this to be a firefight, and from the very beginning, you dominated this fight. What enabled you to have that confidence and that ability, knowing that this is a career on the line type of fight for him, and he's desperate? Well, because you know, Mike Tyson gave me that name, the Mexican Monster. <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? And I, I just feel I'm the strongest 168 pounder. Nobody can mess with me. When you're in a situation like this and he's still fighting back, the fight's almost stopped at the end of the first round, you knock him down in the second round, but he's still fighting back. Are you astonished? Yeah, he's a special type of breed. There's some fighters that their body gets stopped and their, their whole body just shuts down, but this guy was swinging into the end. So, you know, I knew I had to be on my P's and Q's. You know, he was, he's a great champion, tough, tough fighter, and my hat's off to David Lemieux because he's the only one who had the balls to take the fight with me. Well, they almost can't avoid you now. So either there's going to be a vacation, a vacating of that title uh, by Canelo, or at some point he's going to have to fight you. What will you do now? We're going to take a look at the knockout, but what are you going to do now? Because you've got Charlo, uh, you've got Morel, uh, you have Caleb Plant. What would you like to do? I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for him to send me the contract. Them bitches know what's up. I'm right here waiting for him. You know, I'm not, I'm not scared of nobody. I'm the youngest guy, three-time world champion, 168 division. I'll, I'll put my belts against anybody, and I guarantee you I'll knock everybody out. How much better can you get? There's, there's always room for improvement, and every day I strive to be as, better, as, as good as I can be, and I try to be as best as, as I can be every day. In what area could you improve? In everything. You know, you, you can learn in everything. Defense, offense. You know, it only, it only gets better from here. I'm going to keep working. You know, once I get guys, you know, as tough as David Lemieux, you know, that, that pushes me to work even harder to, uh, to better myself and my style. How, how much of a sense of calm do you now have that you have put it all behind you and, you, and there just seems to be a tremendous growth and maturity that you've exhibited? Yeah, no, we just keep maturing and everything, you know, we keep, I, I, I never, when I first started, I didn't, I thought one world title was impossible and now I got three, you know, so the sky's the limit right now. All right, let's bring in David Lemieux. David, tremendous warrior. Uh, are you okay? I'm good, I'm good. Benavides is a hell of a fighter. Congratulations, man. Thank you. From the very beginning, you guys just went after each other, and, and he just established it so early. Uh, did you really ever recover after the end of the first round? Yeah, yeah. After the first round, it was okay. Uh, he got me some good shots. Uh, I came back, but uh, you know, I got to give him the respect. He's a very good fighter. Uh, he's got good hands, good movement. Uh, congrats to him. Do you have any idea if you'd like to continue in the sport? Do you know yet? Is it too soon to assess? Of course, of course, we're still going to talk with my team, uh, but uh, definitely tonight was not my night. I give all my respect to David Benavides. He's, he's a hell of a fighter. Good. Congratulations for him tonight. Much respect. And all of our respect to you. Thank you, David. No más le quiero decir a la raza otra vez. Muchas gracias por todo el apoyo. Y arriba la finiquera. And you said? I just said uh, Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just said thank you to everybody in Phoenix, Arizona. We are. All right, David, we look forward to next time. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. All right, Morrow, back to you. All right, Jim, David Benavidez indeed rallying the valley as we look at the show stats at the time of the impressive stoppage as he celebrates with his son and his wife. And, you know, he normally lands 46% of his power punches, landed 52%. He normally lands 38, 36% of all his punches, landed 49%. That's extraordinary.